Welcome to the Army Talent Alignment Process, or ATAP, explanation video. Purpose of this presentation is to explain the Army Talent Alignment Process and how it applies specifically to post KD Command Infantry Captains. ATAP is the market style hiring system that aligns officers with jobs based on preferences from both the officer and the units in the market. There are two markets per year, one for each movement cycle. You'll use the AIM portal to participate in the ATAP market. After the market is closed, officers are slated to assignments by the Army Deferred Acceptance Algorithm, which optimizes officer and unit preference matches. There are a few steps in this process. Each ATAP cycle begins with an email notification to all officers moving in cycle, and, therefore, forecasted to participate in the market. This email will specify the market external deadline and the exact market execution dates. After the email notification is the market opt-out window. This is when officers can request removal from the market for a few reasons, like being selected for a second command, being selected for a local aide-de-camp position, being fenced by 75th Ranger Regiment, or being hired by the United States Military Academy, to name a few. Most opt-out requests will require a DA-4187 from your unit requesting a YMEV adjustment. The market opt-out window closes at the market external deadline. After the market external deadline, all officers identified to move in the cycle are locked into the market. Next, you'll have the opportunity to sign up for a phone call with your career manager to talk about your file strength, your goals, and your next assignment. You'll also have the chance to participate in market training to learn more about navigating the actual marketplace on the AIM website. Then, you'll participate in the market, which usually lasts around 30 days. About 30 to 60 days after the market closes, you'll get an assignment notification email, which tells you what assignment you were slated to, and asks you when you want to report. Your requested report date should fall in the movement cycle, and, for captains coming out of command, will be based on your change of command date and planned PCS leave. After you respond to your assignment notification email, you'll receive your RFO and begin the PCS process. Again, there are two movement cycles per year. The 01 cycle is October to March, or the first half of the fiscal year. The 02 cycle is from April to September, or the second half of the fiscal year. Now, let's look at how the ATAP events take place in time for each cycle. The email notification is typically sent out in January for the 01 cycle, and July for the 02 cycle. The market external deadline is typically the end of February for the 01 cycle, and the end of August for the 02 cycle. The market typically takes place in April to May for the 01 cycle, and October to November for the 02 cycle. Assignment notifications and RFOs are typically released from July to September for the 01 cycle, and from January to March for the 02 cycle. These windows are just for general expectation management. Exact dates will change a little each cycle, and will be published, as available, in the email notification for each cycle. Your YMEV which stands for year and month availability for assignment, determines which movement cycle you'll move in, and, therefore, which market you'll participate in. Your YMEV does not determine your actual report date. Your report date will be based on your email response to your assignment notification and operational requirements of your gaining unit. For example, let's say your YMEV is November 2022. November 2022 falls in the first half of fiscal year 23. Therefore, you will PCS in the 2301 cycle, and will participate in the 2301A TAP market. Let's talk about how your YMEV is determined. There are a few factors which will affect your YMEV, but typically, for infantry captains in KD command, it will be set to 18 months from your assumption of command date, in order to allow for a maximum of 18 months in one command, in accordance with DA PAM 600-3. For example, if you take command in November 2021, your YMEV will be set to May 2023, since that is 18 months from the date you took command. In this example, you will move in the 2302 cycle, and will participate in the 2302A TAP market. Keep in mind that when you first arrive to a unit, your YMEV will typically be set to 36 months from your report date, in order to align with a typical 36-month tour in accordance with Army PCS policy. Your YMEV will change when you take command. Keep this in mind for planning purposes. Next, let's talk about what assignments are available for infantry captains coming out of command. This list shows the vast majority of 11 alpha jobs that may be available in any given market. 
whether a job from this list is actually in the market, is based on Army Readiness Requirements and Unit Vacancies, as determined by Officer Readiness Division, or ORD, which is the branch of HRC that validates jobs to enter the marketplace. Approximately 10% of each market will consist of branch immaterial, or O2 Alpha, jobs. These jobs are also determined by ORD based on the unit's preference of branch and other factors. The specific 11 Alpha and O2 Alpha jobs available in each marketplace are only selected shortly before the market opens, and, therefore, are usually not published until the market opens. Several assignment types must be competed for outside of the market. Officers are selected for 75th Ranger Regiment, the United States Military Academy, and broadening opportunity programs outside of the market. In order to apply to 75th Ranger Regiment, submit your application via AIM prior to your market external deadline. You will be notified if you are fenced prior to the beginning of your market. If fenced, you will most likely not participate in the market, depending on your RASP date. If not fenced, you will participate in the market in order to compete for another job of your preference. In order to apply to be a TAC or instructor at the United States Military Academy, you must apply during their application window, which takes place every December. You must also apply prior to your marketplace according to your YMEV. The United States Military Academy publishes specific application guidelines every year in a MILPR message. Generally, if you want to teach at USMA, you should apply December of Year Group Plus 5, but talk to your career manager if you have any questions. Broadening Opportunity Programs, or BOPs, are application-based programs that provide continued education opportunities, and unique broadening assignments, to competitive officers. If you plan on competing for a BOP, talk to your career manager to determine if you'll also participate in the market. This is determined based on specific BOP application and selection timelines. Let's talk about how jobs are validated for the market. First, each branch determines the number of officers moving in the cycle. This number is used to determine how many jobs will be validated. Then, ORD takes the list of projected vacancies, analyzes that list taking multiple factors into consideration, such as each unit's projected end strength, an active component manning guidance from the Chief of Staff of the Army, and then validates which jobs will enter the market. In other words, the jobs validated for the market fill the most critical vacancies. For example, let's say, for illustration purposes, there is only one officer moving, and so only one job needs to be validated. Let's also say there are only two units with vacancies, Unit A, and Unit B. Both units are authorized 1011 alphas. Unit A is projected to have 811 alphas in cycle, and Unit B is projected to have 711 alphas in cycle. At first glance, you might think that, based on projected manning levels, the Unit B job will be validated over the Unit A job. However, Unit A's ACMG category requires that Unit A is manned to at least 90% of its authorizations, while Unit B's ACMG category only requires it to be manned to at least 70% of its authorizations. Therefore, in this instance, since Unit B is already manned to ACMG, Unit A's job would be validated prior to Unit B's job. This is an oversimplified example, but shows the basic principles used by ORD to validate jobs in the market. That concludes the Army Talent Alignment Process Overview video. Hopefully, this video provided better context of how the ATAP process works. Next, I recommend watching the Army Talent Alignment Algorithm Overview video, to gain a better understanding of how officers are slated to assignments. Also, please read through the information posted on the Infantry Captain Wiki page on MS Teams for more information. Thanks for watching.